Hello, good evening everyone. Welcome back with me again. Okay, so this time I'm in Ubud again and I want to walk along the street guys. Let's see the situation since it's night. Now it's dinner time guys. It's around 7.20, 7.30, something like that. So let's walk around here in Ubud and let's see the situation. Let's go walking to Ubud center area. But some shops here have closed already so early. You can have fresh juice here. And what is this? Barber shop. It's still really busy, guys, in this area. So many cars, scooters. And what is this? Gorengan, we call it, yeah. It's kind of like snacks. Banana flitters, they have uh, tempe also, many things there. But look at this, nice fruits, wow, really big durian. Have you tried durian in Bali? So big. That one also. If you like Indonesian food, you can try also Padang food. It's available a few Padang food here in the Ubud area. And look at this here, guys. There is a small art market. I think paintings, stream catchers, many things there. There are so many new shops in this area, guys. This one also. Last time I didn't see this. You can see it a little bit from outside. Um, nice stuff. Basically, jewelry, I think. And here, if you go to the left, this is Jalan Jamba one. Let's have a quick look here. Because I know there are some businesses uh, around in this area, like cafe, restaurants. It is a little bit similar like Jalan Gautama, guys, but more businesses in Jalan Gautama. Moon by Sun. So they have the shops, they have their restaurant up there not really big restaurant but it's cute and also here new one Nikuma that's Bali food this one is looks nice place but definitely still very quiet I think that's all. Let's go back to the main road. Bali Buddha looks quite busy from outside and they have the shops as well there let's keep walking guys let's enjoy the atmosphere here wow be careful <laughs> yeah you need to be careful when you walk because unfortunately the pedestrian is not really good at the moment they really need to fix it look at this a lot of potholes like this so you need to be really careful when you walk
Well, look at that on the right side, the crossroads there. I think that is a new business. Lai Lai Afrobeat House. It looks nice cafe. Have you been there maybe? You hear some shop also still open. Nice to see people shopping. Wow, nice trash here. They have nice money changer here, BMC. This kind of money changer is the safest uh, money changer that you can change your money. Proper building, it has camera, and also the rate is good. really busy area here and here if you go to the left I think most of you know this is Jalan Hanoman guys it will lead you to go to Pangosekan Street and also Monkey Forest but this time I will keep continue walking what is this here anomaly coffee Wow, they have new counter of gelato here. Anybody of you love to have gelato maybe? They have so many flavors. Another new cafe here or restaurant. Black Eye Coffee and Eatery. Well, look at this bus. They start to have this bus now in Ubud. This is Nomad restaurant guys. Have you been to Nomad restaurant? So I think most of you have been to this restaurant because this is one of the famous restaurants here in Ubud. And also next to it, another restaurant here. It's Baba Bistro. Last time I came here, it was this year last time, yeah. Compared then to night. There are some tables still empty. And this is the one and only Jalan Gautama here in Ubud. Last time I took you to that street. This time let's keep walking guys. But what I can say is so far I know I mean around here Jalan Gautama is my favorite because like I said there are a lot of cafes, restaurants and also just nice to walk around there no scooter or no car yeah, at night only very less scooter well, this is also one of the famous restaurants here in Ubud simply social Look at that, so many people there. And this is the market also that you can do some shopping guys people selling their product here because the building last time got fire there was a fire accident last time and still um, the government 
haven't uh, renovated the building yet. So people selling their product here. I hope they will uh, renovate the building soon so that people can move to the building and it will be clear again in this area. Wow, so busy, even hard to walk. Look at the tourists here, so many people and here is the Ubud Palace guys on the right side. At this time they are still performing a uh, dance inside, so the dance will finish around 8 something, 8.30 and maybe some of you will see people preparing like big ceremony around here, a lot of pen doors and also the gates here. They will do a lot of uh, decoration because uh, soon here they will have like a big ceremony from the temple guys. So for you that are planning to come here, let's say next week, 6, 7 and 10. If you want to see the ceremony, you may come. But if you want to enjoy Ubud like usual day with a lot of shops open, Maybe that time most of the shops or the businesses around here will be closed due to the ceremony. And anyway, the ceremony itself, what I heard from the local people here is the Ngerasi uh, Gano ceremony guys. This one is kind of like cleansing spiritually and they will do it like once, is, it depends. Some, some of the uh, temple, they will do it like once in 25 years, once in 30 years something like that it's not like a regular ceremony so this temple will have the ceremony guys Pura Desa Pura means temple Desa means village so the village I mean the temple of this village and you can see from here a lot of people will prepare the offering and outside here they even cover this street all the way until there Okay, let's continue walking a little bit more along the street. And here, if you go to the right, this is Jalan Kajang. And you will see a lot of sellers like this as well. If you love to do some shopping, you may do so. And also, if you keep going straight, continue this street, you will see a lot of hotels, guys. Maybe next time I will come. To show you the rice paddies, the hotels around here, along this street. But of course, I need to come at daytime. This is also famous restaurant, Lotus Cafe. It is really busy, guys. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> the 
And that is the legend of the restaurant, guys. Casa Luna. It's been there for like many, many years and it's very famous. A lot of people keep coming back to that restaurant. So it was a nice walk actually. So what do you think guys? You want to come here maybe to spend your time or just want to stay a few nights in Ubud? Okay, so that's all for today's video from this area in Ubud. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again in the next video. Thank you very much and bye now.